new study about COVID-19 long haulers. It says that they could be experiencing neurological symptoms that last at least six weeks. Researchers looked at 100 people with persistent symptoms. Many reported neurological symptoms. The most common was brain fog, followed by headaches, numbness or tingling, loss or altered taste, loss of smell, dizziness, pain and blurred vision. 85% of patients reported having four or more of those symptoms. And they lasted about six weeks or longer. There were some limitations to the study. Researchers noted only half of these patients had a positive COVID-19 or antibody test. Next at five, the pandemic is taking a toll on students. A new study shows the continued concern over kids falling behind in school. Yeah, ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell today taking a deeper look at the new data and the, directly she hears from parents and teachers on how they're managing a very tough year. Physically, socially, and academically, the pandemic has had a big impact on kids across the Tampa Bay area, including Divya Choksi's children, both still in e-learning. They're doing okay, I would say, but my main concern is like um, their social life and the practical, you know, the practical things what they will learn in school. There's a concern shared among many parents. A new poll by the Associated Press, Nork Center for Public Affairs Research found nearly 70% of parents are at least somewhat concerned their kids will face setbacks in school because of the pandemic, including more than 40% who say they're very or extremely worried. However, polling shows concern has gone down since last July. But I must say this has been the most difficult year by far. Octavio Hernandez is a teacher in Polk County. He says he sees the challenges with his own son. It's very difficult when you go to school and you don't get to see people. The interaction's not the same. Uh, and, then, and then, of course, you're going to have the teachers. The interaction, ain't gonna, it's not going to be the same either because you know, they're also stressed and they're worried about the pandemic. Hernandez advice to parents, take a step back. He suggests if your student needs help, find a friend in the same class so they can support each other. Usually that support helps them tremendously. That's always been my, my go-to when it comes to tutoring because after a while, a parent or a teacher talking, all the students hear is, yep, 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 yep. And from a parent's perspective, Choksi says, give it time. I think situation is getting better. We just need to be patient. Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.